Sage Time Slips offers comprehensive and customizable reports in several broad areas. You can quickly access groups of reports from the commands on the Reports menu. All the reports in Sage Time Slips are ready to print, but you can design these reports to better fit your firm's needs. This training video will provide a tour of the resources available to you when designing reports. Select a report group from the Reports menu. In this example, we will examine a slip-based report. The slips page of the reports list opens. Select the slip listing report from the list of reports. A preview of the selected report is displayed on the right, along with an overview of how you can use the report. If needed, you can click the View Full Example to view a larger preview of the report. Click Design Report from the toolbar to change the design of the selected report. The Design page opens. You can use the resources here to design reports. The Design page includes menus that help you maintain and design report. The Layout menu includes commands to create, duplicate, open, and save reports. You can also import and export reports to use in other databases. Commands on the Edit menu allow you to cut, delete, copy, and paste fields and objects on the report. You can also undo and redo the last edit. Use commands on the View menu to determine if toolbars, rulers, and grid lines should appear. Each report is made up of many report sections. The commands on the Section menu allow you to set up section options, import sections from other reports, or export sections to other reports. The commands on the Tools menu are the equivalents of the toolbar buttons. Use these commands to change fonts, add lines and boxes, add text and data fields, or format fields on the report. The design page also includes toolbars that help you design reports. The main toolbar includes buttons to open and save layouts. It also includes commands to cut, delete, copy, and paste fields and objects. The design toolbar includes buttons to add text, lines, and boxes. It also includes commands to align fields and objects and format tables. You can use the Fonts toolbar to change fonts and font styles and align text within text fields. The Fields List toolbar includes groups of fields that you can drag and drop onto most report sections. You can use the report name to establish a name for the current report. You can quickly move to different sections of the report by selecting a section from the Go to Section list, or by scrolling through the report sections. After selecting a section, use the menu commands and toolbar buttons to add, edit, or remove the fields and objects within that section. You can click the Options button to change options for some report sections, or use the commands on the layout menu to change options that can affect the entire report. Font styles allow you to change the font used for specific types of data. For example, you can set the font used for column titles. Page orientation settings determine report margins, page size, and page positioning. After making any changes to the report, you can switch to the preview page to view how your design decisions will affect the printed report. The preview page provides a preview of the printed page. You can use the buttons at the bottom of the page to view the report. For example, 
you can move to the next page of the report or move down the current page. Click Done when you are finished viewing the report.